Hey everybody, I'm back. What's up? Yep. Why? Why do I see all this stuff changing and nobody else gets a flying, f you know, that word? I really don't know. Um, it's kind of messed up though that it's so important in my life and so nonchalant to everybody else. Um, why? Why did I notice the Ford change? Why did I notice these logo chains? What does it mean? Who cares what it means? What does it mean to me is this. Why in the F isn't everybody storming Washington or blowing up the phones of their congressmen, their senators, trying to find out what the hell is going on? If it's AI doing this, which it could be, you know, hackers hacking into it, changing up little things, then it would be one thing. But when you actually see the physical changes in your hand, in your Bible, and all this, it really makes you wonder, what is this realm that we're living in? So it's hard to put into words, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make sense of this all, and it just doesn't make any sense. Why, whenever I tell somebody about the Mandela Effect, I get this look like I'm crazy, and they don't they don't do anything. They, they just leave it at that. that. That doesn't make sense to me. Why? Why doesn't it make sense to them? I mean, is it that scary that you will not touch it with a 10-foot pole because it goes against what you believe? But it's okay for you to believe in Christ and Buddha and all this other stuff that has a bunch of spiritual meanings and aspects? What is really going on here? I mean... I could talk about it till I'm blue in the face, and I know y'all aren't listening because I can tell that nobody really cares because not many people are sharing this video or these videos that I've made. I've only made two. I mean, I'm not trying to blow up the internet, but I am trying to awaken some people to what the hell I'm saying. And I don't need to look at videos. I've been listening to a lot of videos while I drive. That's what I do most of the time is drive. So. You listen to all these different points of views and you see other people's grasps of this reality, but it makes no sense that nobody is like blowing it up. That's that's so freaking alien to me, it doesn't make sense. Am I gonna figure it out? Yeah, I figured it out. I figured out that nobody gives a care, and I think this. I think that it's part of some type of mind control and being that I'm so affected by it it tells me that their mind control isn't effective on me or maybe it is maybe I got it upside down who knows what I do know is if they wanted to test how well their mind control is working this would be a perfect platform to go and Put these changes out so freaking broad of a spectrum that it could touch many people and have everybody just be uh, not caring. I mean, we've all know these stories because if it's if you're watching this video, you are just like me. You're trying to figure out why, what, when this happened, all this stuff. But that doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is the fact that. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense to me whenever I told my brother about it, he started throwing around the crazy word. Like, dude, you know that people that talk like this end up in padded rooms? And I was like, yeah, it does sound crazy. But what you're telling me is that I am a paranoid schizophrenic or something because I remember something that doesn't exist. Now, how is my paranoid schizophrenia coinciding with everybody else's paranoid schizophrenia that we all remember, Luke, I am your father? Come on, man. C-3PO, I had a toy as a kid, and it's funny because a lot of these changes, and I'm sure y'all can relate to this, a lot of these changes, I look back in my memories, and there's almost like audits to them or like changes to them because I remember playing with the C-3PO I had a bunch of toys as a kid 
and I remember playing with him, and I remember losing a leg, and I played with him with three legs for the longest time. Now, looking back at it now, it makes me think that there's something bigger, that that was a sign, you know, because that's what this Mandela effect is having. It's having these changes, not only in our physical reality, but in our mental reality as well, because a lot of y'all, uh, that we are the champions of the world, I'm not affected by that at all. Because I have this vivid memory of going into our barn and getting my dad's old records. And, you know, he had an old Queen record. And I was, you know, reading along the lyrics. And I remember it ending the way it does now. Now, to me, that's, that's something bigger than coincidence that a memory from when I was eight years old as small as reading a song lyric could have that lasting impression impressing ah, whatever the word is point is is how come when I read it 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 confused me because I was like and it just ends this way because we are the champions. And I found it strange as a kid seeing that ending. Now, the coincidental crazy part, irony, whatever you want to call it, whatever word it is, is a lot of y'all are experiencing the memory of it in and of the world. Well, isn't that strange that that specific meaning that I have, or that specific memory, excuse me, of wondering why the song would end that way, would affect me and my future, so, I don't know, man, is it a reality glitch, is it a, a matrix glitch, I don't completely buy into the whole matrix living in a situation thing, but you listen to guys like Tom Campbell, and he has some really good points and really good ways of seeing things. Now, it's hard its hard to discern what you need to from everybody's own personal opinions. And I guess that's why we research is to research different things. You know, you got to search for yourself and then find what it means to you. So... That's why I'm doing these videos, people. It's, it's not to say I'm an expert on memories and this and that, dude. I, I dropped out of college, biggest regret of my life, but I'm not stupid. And I know I have a really good memory. Now, can I remember every freaking detail? No, absolutely not. But what I do remember is very clear to me that I remember it. You know, the whole me playing with C-3PO as a kid my whole life, only having three legs, it's it's a sign. It was a sign given to me back then, you know? And for people to go and point it out now, it just, it makes you wonder, is it just a glitch? Is it, what is it? And that's what we need to find out together. I love the comments people put. I love putting comments. It's, it's great to see that you know, my other videos had 50-something views. My first Mandela Effect video. I mean, to me, that means that 50 people, if all of them were real people and not bots or CIA, FBI, whatever. If those 50 people that watched it, whether they tuned in and said, Oh my God, listen to this dude. I don't want to hear his shit. Whatever. But if they actually searched for more meaning and they found my video they are just as curious as me we need as people to share this type of information because apparently we can't talk to our spouses about it we can't talk to our co-workers about it because you do and it's just that download face they get it's, it's so disheartening you know it, it's it's sad that as a society, 
we're so plugged into ourselves and not to anyone else you know that's that's the hard part of living right now in these times is when we should be the most connected we're the most desolate we're by ourselves and we have every reason to be so connected that you know, people just aren't doing it. That's the problem. I get it. Nobody wants to be scared. Nobody wants to, you know, know that chartreuse is actually whatever color it is. You know, I don't remember that. It ever being red. But a lot of people do. I mean, you could watch countless videos of the residue. And how does this residue exist if it's just a a confabulation how is that a faulty memory if everybody remembers it and actually typed in that Ed McMahon worked for the publisher's clearinghouse I mean to me that's freaking monumental you know it's we remember him holding that big check it's not no freaking sigh out you know I don't want to touch flat earth I, I refuse to go there because I'm gonna piss a bunch of people off because I, I just don't get it guys sorry um so I'm not going there. I thought that was more psyop. And then you got other things that, you know, are right in our face, like Nibiru and whole Planet X, Planet 9. I mean, there's a lot of fringe stuff out there on here, on YouTube, on the Internet, etc. That really makes you question the mainstream narrative. And I think that's the main issue is that now that we're awoken to some of their lies like the NASA fakery you know that 100% I'm on board with a flat earth you know their freaking CGI doesn't fool me man I mean that's like watching a movie like Robocop the first one and looking at that and saying oh my god that that looks so real no man I, you could tell that's play claymation and BS you know I mean come on people that's that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to give more food for thought. You know, if we, speaking metaphorically, if we all bring something to the table, we'll have a buffet of knowledge and it probably won't, you know, let everyone sample it all, but we need to have it available for all. The food that I'm trying to bring is why is it happening I, you know I, I thought it was some type of cymatics that was my biggest thing because I had an aha moment about that and it was kind of like this you know you, you watch those videos or whatever of uh, sound resonance and when you get to a certain threshold in the sound whether it's in water or sand on a vibrating plate it goes through this massive change from one beautiful sacred geometrical shape to another. And it is phenomenal how our universe works this way. So I was trying to rationalize and think scientifically of what could cause these changes. And I was like, well, that's it. That's the only thing that made sense. I didn't want to buy into the whole God or the whole anything else CERN manipulating reality and all this I, that was just too alien with sound resonance I could see it happening to a bunch of rice on a plate that once you hit it with enough frequency the old pattern that was there is no longer there so that is huge and it might have something to do with why we've seen these changes is that theory a hundred percent foolproof no it doesn't even begin to co cover or discover why the you know continents seem to have moved or our phys physiological changes listen to me using big words anyway um yeah the there's so much to my theory that i mean i could easily poke holes in it so i won't even give it much more thought than that but it makes sense as as far as seeing if they could manipulate frequencies and they could manipulate the airwaves and look everybody's plugged in everybody has at least one cell phone around them at all times not to count the collective when you're at home and 
you know, I have three kids, two of them have cell phones, plus my wife and I, we got Wi-Fi routers spitting all these frequencies, you know, everybody's either streaming or something, we don't watch TV, but we do stream YouTube, Netflix, etc. Point is, is if they could somehow subliminally put different frequencies into these airwaves, it could affect us to see something that really isn't there. So maybe that might be a little aha moment for somebody if they're listening this long that it, it ties in with your theory. And if it doesn't look, people, I don't mind criticism, but let, let, let's try to find us out together. I mean, what else, what else do we have to lose? We know that we can't talk to everybody about it. So let's talk to each other. Let's, you know, King Arthur to shit, man. Knights of the round table, you know, I'm not going to be the one that is going to go out of my way to try to force somebody awake when they don't want to be awoken. If y'all are watching this, y'all have listened to countless different views and y'all want to know more. So we're discussing this together as a community, as a group, as whatever. Um, I don't know what else I could say, but let's try to figure it out later.